It's episode 100, my friends. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome in, my friends. We are going to play Malta today. And... And... As if I've looked at this... My, my voice sounds a little deeper because it's early in the morning when I'm recording. I have to record uh, before I, I start work today. So, um, Malta, and then I'm going to hop forward and we're going to play Olympiacos. Um... You know what? I'm probably going to ramble. Hmm. We'll, we'll try and get to it. If it's a long episode, it's a long episode. Um... I, I just I'm 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 a little emotional this morning. I never thought I'd have a, a series with a club go 100 episodes. I never did. I'm looking at notes on my phone in case you're wondering like why does he keep looking down? Um, and it just it definitely uh, like it started really well for me, and then you know I I don't know what the episode number was, but it, like it started to be like a bit of a grind, and until the national team stuff came back in and that has really kind of revived the series for me and i think the the feedback i've gotten on from you guys and and gals in the comments has been incredible um the fact that we're 100 episodes in and we're still getting 300 400 yeah 300 to 360 views per episode is crazy like i just sit back and go like wow they're that, like if you put 360 people in a room every every day like that's a lot of time that you're staring at my face or listening to my voice. And uh, it, re it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, it really does. Uh, um, I thought about streaming this, but I don't want people that couldn't make it to, to miss the episode and then have to watch like f three hours of, of the 100th episode. Um, so if you've been here and you've watched this series, I just want to say thanks. If you've supported my channel, uh, we, we got a new patron on the chan channel, or a returning patron, I should say, Andrew uh, Clooney. Thank you for coming back, Andrew. Hope things are well for you. Um, it 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 blows my mind that there are some people that have been supporting me for like 17 months now on, on Patreon. There's some of you that have been around here since I did my Sterling Albion save. I would like to know, actually, how many people um, are watching this episode that watched like my first ever series on YouTube with Sterling Albion because my goodness, if you go back and watch that, especially like the first uh, two, three seasons of that, it was, it was really shaky <laughs> in terms of delivery, but I was learning and uh, I, I would like to think we've gotten a little bit better. Uh, but just, just a fuzz. Wow, we've got a green screen now and lights and stuff. So um, if, 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 or how about this? This 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 might be more interesting. <clears throat> um, and this is maybe not the episode to do this on, but whatever, we're here and I'm I'm talking to you. So I'd like to know in the comments what was the first thing you watched of mine, like consistently. Because it could have been like you, you you got recommended a video and then you didn't watch the rest of the series, right? So like what was the first series of mine that you watched? Leave a comment with that. I'm very curious. Um if you're new, I'm glad you're still around watching the stuff on Ireland. I've really enjoyed this. I think I might do this again next year, and I'd like some ideas on 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 where we could do it. Um, but uh, I just want to say thanks. I, it blows me away. I've got 53 people as of the time I'm recording this, 53 people on Patreon supporting me. There's a ton of you that watch ads and leave really nice comments. You really don't know how nice it is. I got a comment <clears throat> the other day. Uh, as I told you in one of the last two episodes, I've just had a lot of stuff going on and I haven't been able to record the American Rescue series. And uh, someone commented, said, binged uh, Mr. Tom 28. Hi, Mr. Tom 28, if you're watching this. Binged about 10 episodes today. Excellent content. I agree with other commentators or commenters that you're such a great orator, orator that I can do great orator and I can't get it out. That I can do other things at points and not feel like I've missed out by not seeing 100% of the visual. Also, like a few others, I've let the ads play through in the hope that you get a bit of coin through that. Keep up the good work, sir. You really, like, this isn't about me. The, the, that, that's a nice comment, obviously. That comment is about me. But you don't know the power that you have as a commenter on a creator's work. Whether that's a podcast you listen to, if you send them a nice tweet or an email or whatever, or if you leave a comment on somebody's YouTube, 
you don't know because like I have been kind of down on that series. I'm just like, oh, like I gotta I gotta get back into that. And I'm like beating myself up for not having been been able to get an episode out. And that type of comment is where you go like, okay, yeah, like things are all right, you know, like you don't know. And that's not me um, milking this for comments. I'm not saying that. I just want to remind you that if you've got content creators you love, let them know. It doesn't always have to be financial, right? Like that is great. Fant I love that people support me on Patreon. It enables me to like not have to spend as much time doing other things to make up for my wife's loss of income for being a stay at home mom. That's fantastic. But just watching the episodes and hitting like and sharing it and, and all that kind of stuff is really good too, right? So like, I don't know. We, we've rambled now for six minutes. Let's, let's go play Malta, I guess. I, I just want to say thanks. I, I, I know I say thanks a lot, but I feel like I should anyway. So, um, right, Malta, here we go. One thing I did look at, and I'm, I'm guessing I've got, I, I'm, I haven't edited those other episodes uh, that you are have already seen yet by when I'm recording this. Uh, I may put something in there. I'm, I, I am aware, thanks to a really good comment, way back when we took the Ireland national team job or World Cup qualification was happening, about in the groups with six teams, the results against the sixth team are dropped. So when I did my math to go, okay, if we, if we draw, if we lose here, draw here, and win against these, this is how many points we would have. Well, our results against Malta are going to get dropped, would be my guess. It could be Kazakhstan, so it's not like we're just going to throw today's game by any means, but I am aware that it only matters what happens. So, uh, if we could get, if we could just get a draw against Germany, a win would be outstanding. But we're going to be playing, I think, away from home, right? Our 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 last game was, yeah, yeah. So, assuming Malta is last, then and if we beat them today, then those these six points won't matter. We essentially need to win out, I think, to feel really good. If we draw against the Czech Republic, it's not a disaster. Um, just because, right, like, they're, they're currently seven points off. And then I did look up the 2018 uh, World Cup qualifying, and I'm assuming it works the same way in 2025-26, um, where all but, like, one of the second-place teams get put into a playoff, essentially. So there, there's a chance we could still make the World Cup. Obviously, in a group of Germany, you're thinking that's your only chance. But you never know. We almost beat Germany. You're saying there's a chance. I mean, they do have the goal differential. We'd have to really smash some people, I suppose. Um, but that, yeah. So I am aware of that. I am aware of that. This is how we line up today. We got Ryan Cassidy back from his boo-boo. He's got bruised jaw. He's fine. He, in three days, he's only gone from 84% to 91%. That must be a heck of a bruise, right? Like, that's kind of crazy. Michael Duffy coming in on the left because he came, you know, he made he made the trip. I want to, you know, you know, thanks for playing. Um, Sean McGuire is the one that I got all the flack in the press about not using him. He's 31. He's definitely more of a striker, but we have Cassidy. So he's going to play in the attacking midfield support role because he can do that. And it doesn't require as much stamina and strength, which is something he's not as good at being a 31 year old. We got Doyle Hayes still in. You know, I'm not. I don't want to swap everybody out. So he's still gonna to maintain that box to box midfield role. We are gonna play Thompson, Callum Thompson, in his second ever cap in a deep line playmaker role because he that's kind of his best spot. He could do you know uh, a box to box, but his finishing isn't as good. He's got the physicals for it, but I think it makes more sense put him on a deep line playmaker. On ooh, his tackling's not as good now, is it? It's Malta. We'll, we'll put it on support, I think. Right? So th some of you may be like, just get to the game, bro. And I am going to do this one on key highlights. Um, we are going to keep Michael McGuire be because we were able to get that cap for Robin Council. Just as a heads up, he's now it shows declared. It's a weird way to handle that in Football Manager, I think, but whatever. Uh, field coming in on the left for Kevin O'Connor, who is on an 8.1... Or 8.57 at World Cup qualification. That's not bad. He had a, what was it, like a 9 on the last game before we pulled him out for the injury. Shane Duffy is still going to maintain his role because he's Shane Duffy. Charles Ademo is going to come in. Um, he's with Southampton now. He was with Watford. They sold him for 675 k uh, Minor profit. And I've noticed, yeah, he, he we used to play against him. 
um, which is kind of interesting. Um, so he's going to come in. We're going to give uh, Masterson a break. I'm going to use Duffy as long as humanly possible because I love Duffy. Um, Woods coming in on the right, and we're going to keep... Uh, I, I just don't want to drop the game, right? So we're going to play... I'm, I'm trying to get Bazudu a contract somewhere else, if I can be completely honest with you. 63K, 63K a week, backup, Man City. He's on contract for another two years. So it's like, let's 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 put it... We're putting him in the shop window. We are going to bring in Ganon towards the end of the game. So I do need to save one of my subs so we can go ahead and... Obviously, so we didn't just bring him in for nothing. But I don't want him starting. And I, I like Eric Bruhl, but he's 21. And, well, bro, you've already... Right, just checking. You are declared... There's no need to really... It's like, we're going to keep calling him in because he's probably the next generation after Bazunu in, like, forever. But we're not going to rely on him, right? So Bazunu's going to start. We'll bring in Ganon here. Everybody else, thanks for coming. Uh, I think we will have played everybody. Kelly, Cullen, yep. Graham, Ronan. Oh, Donovan. I think that's my favorite. I think I said that last episode, too. But it's still true. Um... <clears throat> They're playing a 4-2-3-1, but <laughs> instead of being the attacking version, they're playing the DM, super DM version. Pick up where you left off. Go smash some faces. We're at home. This is good stuff. Good stuff, people. Let's get some sound going. Look at the rain. All right, here we go, boys. Ah, now the crowd. They, they had to wake up. Here we go. <clears throat> Again, not that this game doesn't matter, but, you know, in terms of uh, buffing our goal differential, but if they drop the results, it doesn't matter. But you never know. Maybe maybe Malta gets a clutch win against Kazakhstan, and they're able to hop them. So you kind of have to play it until... Until, like, the later, like, you know, the eighth game, I would say, in qualifying. You, you kind of don't know how it could end up if it's close at the bottom. And we picked up a goal. Maguire, no big deal. Not even worth watching. We're not, I, the guy's name, the guy, the goalkeeper, did you see the goalkeeper's name? Go back and watch it if you didn't. I'm not going to mention it. I'm, I don't want to, I'm afraid of YouTube's filter. If, if it is what I thought it was, I that's all I'm going to say. That was pretty good. Sean Maguire saying, he called me back in. That's not how, that's not the accent at all now, is it? That's what he's doing. My name's Sean Maguire. Oh, laddie. My, I, mm, I, I, why did I try again? Nope, nobody knows. That was good. That, that one I thought was worth watching, to be honest with you. So our, the Maguire, brothers Maguire, have each netted a goal here. Uh, oh, it's a penalty. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was trying to figure out what happened there. Um, it's, uh, apparently. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> brothers Maguire now have three goals. The fans are going crazy. Looked actually like he was gonna get a stop to it. Uh, there's the name. I'm just I'm. I'm just pointing things out. You can uh, look at them yourself. Marcelino. A demo. There you go, Charles. He's in charge. Let me know if you understand that reference. McGuire, with all his pace. Look, he's slicing through him like a hot knife through butter, and then he pour, puts a poor, poor cross in. Cassidy gets it, though. Back to McGuire. Back all the way to Woods. Okay, Malta resets the defense. Do Hayes. That was a slider. That's all it was, a slider. We're on key highlights. I just want to point that out. Do Hayes. Hey, hey, hey. The name is interesting. I'm going to feel really guilty if that's somebody's actual name. I'm just... I'm just saying. Oh. 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 Matthew Wu Ling has scored an unexpected goal. That's going to earn us a demand more. See? See? It's why we play. It's why we play the game. Now, we've lost our clean sheet. 
I was a good tackle by Duffy. It just got, ended up being a pass. You know, one of the classic, oh, and then Woods overcommitted. He thought he was going to lay it off as a pass. Come on, boys. Let's let's go get one back. Get a three-goal lead here. Cassie, take that turn. Turn, mate. Okay. Doyle Hayes takes... Okay. Two bites of the cherry. Hits the bar. We got some complacency setting in. That's not what you want to see, my friends. Maguire. Oh, he plays it off to Maguire. And they weren't on the same page. Field. C mm, started to cut in. Pulls back. Doyle Hayes. He's going to play off to the top of the box. No, he's not. He's got field. He at the top of the box, mate. He's got all the space in the universe. Thompson. I know he's only got the second cap. But Callum Thompson, my friends, was just like, hello. Hello. Pass it to me. I know I'm the new guy. Pings it in the upper 90. Look at this base. You got three guys kind of cornering two. And this guy's not close enough. Number eight. And that, that is a finish. Hmm. Messi-esque? I mean, he had some space and time. It wasn't like... Messi-esque would be like if everyone was on top of him and he was able to pull that off. But still, I've got to say, pretty good finish. Keep it going, lads. Hey, you. Don't get sent off. We've got games against the Czech Republic next. Is that a... It's the new hit. <clears throat> Is there anybody we need to bring off? I mean, it's it's going pretty well. Woo. You want the fans leaving with a lot of and and well the players with a lot of confidence, right? You wanna you wanna do better than a four one, I think, in a situation like this. Even with a slightly weakened squad. I'm really excited about that Callum O'Hare guy. October. It's gonna be good. Thompson plays it out, it's a good pass. Do Hayes cross Duffy over the bar. Don't get sent off. Oh, it always makes you nervous when the highlight starts like with something like that with your yellow carded player running away. But it, it seems to have worked out. Thompson again. Thompson again curls it. Hits the post. McGuire thought he was offside. Chips it over. Duffy. Oh, let your wing back get that, mate. Okay, wing back makes the run. Thompson plays it out to Woods. Can you imagine Ireland being this dominant in anything? I'm just saying, as a fan. This is this is so good to watch. I'm just I I one nil versus Gibraltar in real life away from home. I'm just saying. I think a four one is in, in the fact that we're we've been playing a four two three one or ish. It's just it's just nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. Okay, we got some tired legs here in the middle of the park. We are going to bring the goalkeeper on. I'm not going to forget to do that. Okay, Maguire. Don't, don't, okay, I was going to say, don't retaliate, mate. Don't retaliate. Ademo, oh, he gets run. By, oh, D Duffy is slow and old. Who, who is, oh, that guy's all by himself. They're playing literally no wing support. Nobody making a run. And he play like, I guess, what are you going to do? He, he should have probably just taken a shot and see if he could earn a corner. That's probably the only chance. They've not had a corner yet. Okay, Field. Maguire. Doyle Hayes. Woods, there you go. All right. What you got? What you got? Duffy. Oh. Side netting. It looked it looked, it looked like it was it was good. Uh, Maguire's tired. We've got Kelly who could come in. We also... Oh. That's weird. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I think we take Doyle Hayes off. Bring on Liam Kelly. Uh, Thompson can... He could do the box-to-box. -box. He could also do just this. Maybe more of a support... No, his concentration's not very good now, is it? <clears throat> hmm. You could do a box-to-box -box for 15 minutes. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I'm interested now, like I told you last episode, about the, the players that aren't in the first team, and I said that they needed to get into the first team. I'm curious how that, uh, like, will, will they go earn some, you know, first team minutes and, and force my hand, as it were. Gannon, what's up, buddy? Um, 
Yeah, you just play. No, you you gotta you gotta play the system. You gotta play the system, mate. Anybody else that has to come off? Mm, you're looking pretty, pretty knackered. Cassie, you've not played well, so you're gonna be forced to play in that role. That's what I'm gonna make you do. And we're gonna bring in O'Donovan. I kind of like O'Donovan. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The double subage. Get O'Donovan another cap. Let him know, mate, for the future. You keep doing you, mate. All right, Woods, McGuire. Oh, I thought that was going to be a late goal, but Pace catches it. I think that, I, I know that was a little bit long. It was like, I don't know, what, nine, ten minutes? I, I enjoy watching Ireland win. I'm very happy with the way you played in the result. I'm not even going to bother trying to talking to you individually because no one listens to me. I'm surprised there were reactions that were positive there. Um, again, that probably doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Kazakhstan losing to Georgia. Czech Republic 2-0 to Germany. So when you look at it this way, Georgia's jumped the Czech Republic. Oh, my. Oh, my. What's that guy's name? Anyway. Um... We're only three points off. I know the I know I know the games against Malta will not well, looks like not count, but they, if they get a cheeky win over Kazakhstan and then the goal differential switches, they you never know. You never know. But still, we got fifteen we've only lost one game. That's what I'm gonna say. We've only lost to Germany. I think that's pretty darn good. Um We'll take a look once we, once I hop forward. We'll take a look what because you have to wait for all the other games to play to really look at your rankings. But 86th here over the Czech Republic, who have dropped, I imagine, to 53rd. We are currently 40th. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, my leadership it's uh, it's on the uptick, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, yep. And then Germany still first. Yeah, that's yeah right. Uh, what was Malta? 173rd. You know, you, you could argue you, you, you'd want a better result <laughs> than a 4-1. Um, but I'm not really complaining. So the next international break. Oh, this this, this is def away from home. How are we going to set up? I, I mm, We're going to have like six episodes because the Europe really get before now and then anyway. But, uh, okay, let's see if there's anything we need to address here. Comfortable win, blah, 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 blah. Martin Gannon. Let's just, I, just, just checking. This is how it indicates now. Declared. That how, if you, if you were confused as I was about what declared meant, it's not just that they declared that they're going to play for the country. It's, it's, uh, like they have a cap now. Okay. The guy I showed, uh, showed, who did you? Callum O'Hare. Does he say declared? That'll be in interesting. See? Callum O'Hare has made the switch to us, but he is not listed as declared, and he's still eligible, apparently, because he's not been called up to either team, which is interesting. Really. He is going to come. Oh, he's injured. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to mix the next window. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's a disaster. I was going to call him up for the next... Okay, four to seven weeks. Is he going to mix the window after this? He'll have to come in against these teams. Oh, unless he has like a magical recovery with his toe. Okay, we're going to hop forward now. And, uh, right. What did I tell you? We're going to play Olympiacos. This is going to be such a long episode. Hopefully you understand. Cheers. Okay, here we go. And, of course, in the middle of the episode, we're going to eat youth intake. I should write that down. Okay. Right. David Brady looks to be the the best of the bunch. Unambitious three determination. Got a good work rate. He's all right. He's worth signing. Aaron Brennan. Okay. Oh my! He's six foot seven. We are 100%. percent i we are just do it now. I'm sorry. You're six foot seven. You, you, you automatically get a contract. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, a left-footed inside forward. Don't see that a lot. Unambitious, three determination, five work rate. Ooh. One thing that I've noticed with uh, youth intake that I didn't used to get 
is it used to say, and maybe it was just the clubs that I was at, like the they would play the the whatever the 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 game that I never attend, and it would say like sign everyone. And in my Sterling Albion save, I'm getting sign these five players, and I'm like, oh, well that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't outright trust that, right? But I just think it's interesting that it. it Maybe it's the quality of my staff. Maybe it's the quality of our, our current, like, under-19s or something like that. But we'll, we'll see what it says after this. But uh, six foot seven, Yeah, good stuff. So this is what I'm talking about. David Delaney, David Brady, Aaron Brennan, Anthony Gribben, and Kevin Sheehan, Sheehan are the ones that we're interested in. So I'm just kind of curious as to why. ball midfielder, balanced. I mean, he looks all right. But, like, what... He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not a half star. That's going to be two gray stars, right? One and a half star, now you go like, okay, David Brady, that makes sense. He's, looks to be the best of the bunch. Aaron Brennan looks to have some options. Left footed, I mean, he's, I mean, we already offered him six foot seven. Um, Anthony Gribben, you know, decent. Fairly professional, I like that. Work rate, determined, I like that. Everybody knows I like that. And then uh, an unambitious left-footed only inside forward. You know, I, I, I'm i going to trust my staff, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Murmurs of discontent. Disquiet is growing amongst Kevin Tealy fans. As we've gone through a rough patch, yet we failed to win any of our last three games. Our, the consensus is my job is safe for the immediate future. We'll need to end the slump quickly so we can get their title challenge back on track. What? What? Give me a break. Give me a break. We're, we're about to pl I'm trying to get to Olympiacos. Here we go. We did get the win against Sligo Rovers 2-1 with goals from Mallow Elaine and Dejed Spence. It was kind of in the mixer. He claimed it on a volley. It was on a right point oh. We and we played. We as you can see, we played Janadu. I'm really torn about who to start, to be honest with you. Janadu, Thompson in the DM role, Spence on the right wing because he's suspended for the next game. Erich, uh, Jordan Davies on the left. Harry White played. Paul Russell, Galbraith, because he's suspended for the Olympiacos game as well. Potty O'Connor, Mallow Lane, and Gary Hayes Ward, because I'm trying to, if I could get them to score a goal or two, get their form up before we head into this critical game. We might have, I mean, do we sell him? Do we sell him? Do we re-sign him and sell him? He is not, like, his physicals have just kind of, stagnated. I know he's 24 and he's been with us like he, he he's the one that gave us a chance. He's just kind of having a little bit of a down season. Which is saying something. He's got 16 goals. His recent form is a 642. So maybe it's just a blip. Maybe I should just resign him, but I just I'm torn. Do we start Janadu? I think we have to. He's improved. I think we're going to Put him on. I don't even know how to play, to be honest with you. Elaine is a fun. Ah, it's not as good. His physicals are better, right? And so. They've got an okay partnership. If we swap them in, they've got a better partnership. I guess we'll start him. He's, I guess he's earned it. <laughs> I'm really worried about Janato at the back for some reason. I just think Boston is just overall. He's got better attributes. I'm not, I'm not. But when you look at the ratings, right? Europa League two starts. Two clean sheets, six nine five. One start in the Champions League with a clean sheet on seven point four. I can't remember who that was against. Versus three in the Champions League, four conceded, one clean sheet, seven point oh. Two in the Europa League, two conceded, one clean sheet, six point nine. I'm really torn. I guess we start Janadu. I guess. Hold on a second. 
just a reminder, a win today is worth 25% of our bank balance. A draw is worth just a little bit less than 10%. As you can see, because we loaned at George Marsh, we are under our wage budget right now. And just to kind of update you again, we maintain our four-point lead with a game in hand over Shamrock. We have eight games left. It's a little tight here at the end, lads. They are favored. Um, it says they're in excellent form because it does, I don't have their league loaded, so I'm not really sure how FM handles that. We're going to play white up here. Oh, do we play white up there? I'm tempted to play Thompson because we're missing uh, Galbraith, and we're playing Thompson back here. Thompson and Thompson. But these guys do have a good... I think we just leave it. I think we just leave it. I went to balanced rather than positive. Oh, okay. Right. I'm wishing I had a winger right now. Um, okay. So what that's going to do is we're going to put these guys on defend. They're going to be, I think, swamped. I think. Right. They're going to have, there's four attacking players. So we, we want to help them out. Don't get forward. Don't get beat over the top. We are away from home. Should we do to keep our run going? Boys, go get a draw. Okay? A win would be even better, but... I think we'll be fine with it, Ethan. Yeah, I meant that. I really wish we could have Harry White with an eye at the DM spot, but that's why we signed Thompson, right? To give us some depth at that at that DM spot. So we've got it, and I'm hoping that the, the three players in the middle that have a good... Uh, they play well together... Okay, guys, you might move the ball a little more quickly. I'm just saying. Russell. Oh, what a roaming playmaker play right there. Oh, this is good. Oh, we're going to get dispossessed and countered. Harry's Ward back to white. Nice and easy. Out on the outside. There you go. Harry, uh, Hayes Ward makes the run. And, and, we, and we, uh, we are in the corner. Do I have it on? We are going to do... Yes, we are doing extended highlights because... Because it's our first Europa League group stage game. Edich! Oh, it's in the mixer. White is he offside? No, gets it back in. Oh, Wilkinson takes a crack, but we get another. We get another corner. I ha I have I have talked to Wilkinson to say like, mate, make your game up. I don't know if that's applying too much pressure, but he's just he started the season so hot, and I know I told you that, but it just has really fallen off at like a really inopportune time for it to be falling off, right? Like end of the season, Europe League, all that kind of stuff. Come on, boys. Sorry, just hit my pop filter here on my mic. Davies heads it away. Noise. Okay. Out on the way. Oh, missed the slide tackle. It's in. Oh, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate, my friends. Again, I, I, I'm just the fact that we're here. I'm. We're gonna get TV revenue. We're gonna get um, gate receipts. I. <laughs> I'm not expecting us to pull up any trees, as as the odd saying goes. 6.7s across the board for us in terms of attributes, ratings. It's good. Our DM has picked up a yellow card, which is, you know, that's what you want. That's, of course, that's exactly what you want. I don't under... This gets messed up sometimes. I don't know why the order is off. I, that's happened more recently in my saves on FM19. I don't know why. Um, white. Oh, looks good. Wilkinson, put it back in, mate. Oh, what are you doing? I love when they just run and stand on the ball. That's my favorite. It's almost like that PSG guy. You know what I'm talking about, right? The guy who essentially stopped a goal and then di didn't... Well, I don't... What was he thinking? Anyway, if you haven't seen that, go PSG stops goal thing video. Wilkinson takes a touch. Out to Russell. Oh, I thought he was going to make a run there. Oh, plays it back in. Oh, Wilkinson. Feeling the pressure. Skies it. If that had been on target, that would have been unstoppable. Erich is furious, and apparently we're standing right in front of the... Oh, Janadu! Easy, lad. What is Erich all upset about, mate? You're like the rock of our back line. Please don't be frustrated. It's going to spread, I think. They've had eight shots, we've had six. We're in the game. They haven't had a, ch a chance, neither have we. Five on target shots for them, three for us. We're we're in this game. It's it's not a disaster. Long throw doesn't come off. Oh no, the counter is on. The counter is on. Get back. 
White, get back! Get- Oh, no one got back. Oh my goodness, Janadu. See, that's what I'm talking about with Janadu. His handling is not the best. Oh, 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 Janadu dove for that and then didn't come through. I thought they were going to get one in the opposite corner. Well, it's gotten a little nervy here. I think we drop White to take over for Thompson and then we bring on Daniel Thompson, the winger. I think that's our next. Uh, I think it is unlucky. I think that's 100% correct. So I think we're going to do this. And you go here. It gets our yellow off. It gets us a little more width. Put him back on automatic. We'll leave Martin back here on defend because he's got an attacking player and a supporting player here. I think that's, that's fair. I'm going to say... I believe in you. Yes. We're relaxing. We're feeling more confident. If we could oh, if we could just get a draw. They've had two half chances now. That was at the end of the half, right? So that kind of ball in the mixer situation. Okay, nice job stepping in front of that. White, lots of space if he can get to it. I like how our strikers are just standing there not making any runs. They're just standing there. I know you're a target man, but you, you could go move. Oh gosh, well, it was so bad. Like that whole sequence was could have been so good and ended up not being. But we win. It was a bad pass from them. Thompson, okay, the winger draw, cuts in because, you know, we need more people in the middle. What's he doing? What's he doing? Wilkinson applying some pressure. It comes back out to Davies, who collects. He pings it forward. Oh, it falls to Russell. Russell plays the Thompson. He's got the man at the top of the box. A uh, big windup and an odd pass. And then White Oh, just wide. If we could get something on frame, that'd be good, boys. They've gone to 4-2-3-1, so they've gone a little less aggressive, I suppose. They dropped one of their strikers into an attacking... They, they didn't sub anybody, but they, they dropped him. Um, can we close down Milovic since he's he's complacent? I'm just saying, maybe he'll, he'll be a little casual on the ball. Yeah? Okay, 6.2 with white here. That's not the best. Davies. Um, makes you nervous when you play it back in the Europa League. I'm just saying. Pings it forward. Hayes Ward has got space. He collects it. Wilkinson! Gavin Wilkinson. I know I was talking about you, mate, but that was lovely. That was lo Maybe it was because I was talking about him. He, 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 you know, was feeling it. I think that that was made by Erich. He gets the, what we would call the MLS assist. The assist to the assist. Hayes Ward brings it down like Marcelo, collects it, and then first time volley Wilkinson. My goodness, that was good. Oh, can we... You know, I should, like, you know, drop everybody back, defend whatever, get the draw, but... We smell blood in the water. I know Harry White with a Y is on a yellow one on a 6.2, but we really don't have anybody... I mean, Zach O'Neill is on the bench. We could bring him in, but is he that much better? Not really. Oh, it chips him! I mean, it's fair, I guess. If if you talk bad about a player and they hear it, you know? You, you had a conversation with them. You said, hey, mate, you got to start playing better. You're on a, a bit of a dip in form. And then he comes up with the brace away from home in Greece, in the Europa League, in your first Euro Europa League group stage game, I'd say that's a pretty good response. I'm, j I'm just, I'm just saying. I think that's a pretty good response. Okay, hold on, hold on here. We've got this guy is no longer complacent, but this guy is nervous, so we're gonna close him down. Eh, eh. Not that we have anybody up on the right side of the pitch, our right, their left, to to close him down. But White wins it. Plays it, and Wilkinson, oh, unselfish, and then Hayes Ward skies it. Oh, I thought Wilkinson was going to get a hat trick there. The old duo getting it done. I should I should take Harry White off and bring on Zach O'Neill, but... Oh, lots of things just changed here. Um, okay. All right. 
still think we closed down the guy on a 6.3, to be honest with you. Let's do both. I'm wondering if Harry White, with a Y, is going to miss the next game for yellow card accumulation. Don't give up a penalty, don't give up a penalty, don't give up a penalty! Instead, give up a goal. Zach O'Neill can play an attacking role. It's... it, We had three points. Again, maybe I should have gone more defensive. But we've had two clear-cut chances and a half chance, right? So, like, I'm going to demand more. Let's go, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is, it, is, that, is that the Fred? Like, the Manchester United Fred? We're going to bring on Mallow Elaine. Give Wilkinson... I mean, it's not like Wilkinson or uh, Hayesward's playing poorly, but... He's on a six point. Oh no! He's on a six point eight corner. Janadu fluffs it. Are you freaking kidding me? We have snatched vic de victory from the jaws of defeat. Or no, we've snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. It hurt. It hurts. It hurts, lads. I thought that was going to go in. Talk about a super sub. I'm just going to say. I'm, I, I would love to say, I'd love to just yell at them, but we're not going to do that. Hey guys, you had the victory in your hands and then you choked it away. Oh, we don't get any gate receipts for that? Are you serious? That's disappointing. My phone thought I was talking about Siri. Oh. Oh, that one stings. Okay, we, we got time to recover. We got a lot of games to play. Villarreal coming up. They haven't played yet. They are very happy, I would assume, with that win. Especially coming from behind. Next time you see us, my friends, ooh, it's going to be busy. Okay. is We're going to have the Villarreal game. That's 10-2. October 2nd. October 10th is Germany. 13th is Czech Republic. We may mix it up again. Yeah, I think we're going to do Villarreal in Germany and then Czech Republic in NK Maribor. Can I get a pity like? Can I get a pity like? That is a disappointing collapse to be up 2 1 in the 83rd minute. Fred comes in and gets the equalizer, then they get the win. Oh, man. I'm sure you're going to be judging my tactical decisions. But if you enjoyed that episode or want to give me a pity like, hit the like button, leave a comment. I At least we're at home next time. We got a lot of games. All right. See ya. Mm -hmm.